Hello everybody, my name is Eddie Gear to you, and welcome back to us play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the previous video, uh, we conquered the Earth Temple. Medley is going to be staying behind to pray for the Master Swords of Strength to return. And in today's video, we're going to leave her down there because we have some treasure charts to find. Two of these treasure charts, however, I got on this f save file, but I forgot to record the footage. So you're going to see um, a completely different save file, uh, collect those rewards. Um, they're the save files we're gonna get on this file, so uh, let's switch over to the magical land of alternate save file. Alrighty then, now we're in the magical land of alternate save file, where the sky is nice and pretty, it's all raining and lightning -y, and you can see stars in the background, and Link is wearing a completely different eye uh, because. Uh, there's something that I haven't really talked about in this game. There is a sort of new game plus uh, when you beat this game, uh, where you can where you can start a new save file. Except the new save file throughout the entire game, a Link will be wearing uh, the outfit that he was wearing at the very beginning of the game, uh, being the uh, blue the blue outfit that had the uh, lobster thing on the on it. Um, some of the characters will actually um, talk about it um, themselves. So it's pretty. It's a pretty interesting um, thing to um, to point out and stuff like that. Uh, I just realized I had not actually no up. And where is this reward? It's over there. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I um, talked about this before, but um, the reason why I'm using an alternate save file to get some of these treasure charts is because I got some of these treasure charts on my regular save file. But I didn't record it, so yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. But luckily, uh, this save file, I haven't really done anything in terms of collecting the Trust Drive reward, so um, there we go. Now the thing is about this is that it is kind of spoiling the fact that when you go play this game's a new game plus mode, um, you're going to um, uh, get you're going to get some um, like a new new offer and things like that. Um, other than that, this um, me sewing the, this uh, off isn't going to spoil anything. You can you can see that I haven't even filled in the entire map in this world yet. Although I will say for the record that this save file is a bit further into the game's main story than my let's play file is. But I'm not going to be sewing anything that's going to spoil what's going on in the game's story. So don't worry about that. Um, all, the only thing you're going to get spoiled is the fact that in the game's uh, new game plus mode, um, you're going to um, uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, in the game's uh, new game plus mode, uh, the, you're gonna get a new outfit. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to open up the treasure chart. Well, I'm sailing on a boat. Okay, it's been opened. The chest has been opened. And the reward is over there, so let's go collect it. Now, this uh, treasure chart has some pretty interesting history with it. Um, in the original GameCube version of the game, uh, this treasure chart would get you one ruby, and that was it. In this version, however, they changed it to 50 rubies, uh, because uh, if anybody has seen uh, um, some other people's Let's Play this game, though, you could experience, you can like, understand the hatred that people had with that, like how Nintendo Capri Sun's um, infamous uh, one ruby scream. Um, yeah. Okay, that's gonna be it for this save file, so I'm gonna meet you guys back over to our regular save file where we get the rest of the treasure charts in this video. So, I'll see you guys in the regular save file. Wait, 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 just one second. I've completely forgot about this one other treasure chest reward that we're supposed to get. Um, this one goes, um, you unlock from the treasure chart that we got from taking care of that submarine over on, um, over on Crescent Moon Island. I thought this was one we are going to get on our regular save file, but no, I had to get this one on the alter on the magical land of alternate save file as well. So either way, you're going to get a look at the game bad screen map thingy, so yay, that's going to be exciting. Um, so yeah, if you look at the game bad map, you're going to see that um, we're going to go to the world on the bottom left corner of the screen. Now the map right there is gonna be for the map on my other save file because I already took the Miiverse screenshot and I don't want I don't feel like taking care I don't feel like taking a screenshot of another Miiverse uh keypad map thing. Yeah that was a really well constructed sentence on my part. That was the best constructed sentence in the history of anything ever, if I do say so myself. 
Alright, let's open up the treasure chart. It should be around here. It's right there. Let's go collect it. We're gonna go collect the treasure chart. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna have cookies inside of it. It's gonna have eggnog. It's gonna have other stuff that's gonna make our teeth run to contact. This is gonna be basically the Halloween special of the Wind Waker. And we get... 200 rubies! Okay, now I'll see you in the regular save file. Back in the magical world of Let's Play save file, now we're to collect the treasure chart rewards that we got from the Earth Temple. So, what we need to do is that we need to go sailing towards the island way off in the distance, over there. Or over there. I think it's that one. Which one is it? I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. I think it's that one. Um, look at my map. Uh, yes, it's that one. I don't remember these things off the top of my head. I'm looking at my map right now, and it looks like we're in the right square, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, did I open the tre did I open the treasure tour for this? I opened it. Opened it. Opened it. Hope I did. Hope I did it. Okay, now it's open. Where is it? Where is the treasure chest? Where is it? I will find it. It will be mine. It'll be my treasure chart. Chest award thing. It's not be mine. There it is. I found the thing. I was going crazy there for a moment. Uh I think I don't remember exactly what's over here, um, in terms of um rewards or anything like that. Uh we'll come back to this island if there are any rewards at some point in the let's play. It we'll do this eventually, probably in a game. Um okay. Okay, there's a, there are a couple of islands throughout the world of the Wind Waker where, um, where they're like basically filled with mini games. They're basically mini game islands. My intention is that, um, ooh, piece of heart. Yay, piece of heart. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I think this is a mini game island, although I might be wrong about that. Um, where's the Five Eye Reef? The next reward's at the Five Eye Reef, but I don't remember. I don't remember where it is. I remember where it is. Um, it's by the Offset Island. Um, th there are going to be some mini game islands uh, spread across the world of the Wind Waker, so I tend, I intend to take care of those in a couple of videos. Probably not the next one. Maybe I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing in the next video. But I do know we're gonna be taking care of the minigame islands at some point soon. Definitely before the next dungeon. We're gonna be taking care of a lot of side stuff. Like, a lot of side stuff before we go into the next dungeon. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, the, the reason why I'm doing that is because... Um, the way that the story is gonna to be told... Um, around the next dungeon and, and beyond that... I'd like to... Have a bit more seamless um, in terms of uh, the videos being released. Like we're gonna have a basically. What I'm just saying is that there's gonna be like a bunch of a bunch of um, uh, videos uh, dedicated to um, treasure chart rewards um, and side quests and other things like that. While there's gonna be and after that there's gonna be a lot of videos dedicated to story progression. So that's, so I know I say that a lot throughout this let's play, but that's but that's basically how I'm gonna be covering. Uh, this game. That's basically how I cover all, all these uh, Zelda Let's Plays, where I talk about the side, side stuff, and then a bunch of story stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, <clears throat> voice crack. Uh, the final treasure chest reward thingy majigger jigginess is over here in Five Eye Reef. It seems like we can never escape these things. Um, let's go collect it. We're on top of it right now. And use the claw. The claw. Can't believe it took me that long to make a reference to that. Like seriously, two stories like my favorite movie ever, and I can't believe it took me that long to make that reference. All right, I think that was the last uh, treasure chart reward. I'm gonna double check on my map uh, um, before we end the video off uh, because I don't want to look like a moron because I don't want to have to take care of these things in um, the next video or so. So uh, I'll see you guys in a second. So something I'd like to say real quick is that um, the way I record this video with switching back and forth between um, my different save files, um, it brings back a lot of memories of my Epic Mickey Let's Play where, because of the way I had to do that game, um, I switched back and forth between my paint and my thinner save files um, so that I could uh, properly 100% that game. Um, it brings back a lot of memories of that Let's Play, and I really did have a fun time with that game. It really is one of my, that Epic Mickey was definitely one of my favorite Let's Plays I've done on this channel. 
And it, it was nice that this um, to have a video to remind me of uh, um, playing through that game on my channel. But enough about that, because uh, we're gonna the video off here, so thank you guys so much for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda The Winged Waker HD. In the next video, we're probably going to be taking care of stuff across the Windfall Island because we're already here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And until next time, let me gear to you. Oh yeah. That was a very unnecessarily epic outro.